Hi guys. So for this video, I'm going to show you our DIY setup and how we can control our Moza Air 2 and C6 cameras with our two Android phones. Let's go. So first we we use the Moza Air app. Moza Master on this phone here and then for the camera for the C6 camera we're going to control using this Android phone over here okay let's set up our Wi-Fi connection first. Right. So this is Wi-Fi. And then let's connect our phone to that Wi-Fi. And then we launch our app. Then connect. Let's see, it says it's not connected. Here, here we have the Android phone that will be controlling the Moza Air and then we have here this Android phone to control the Z6 camera so we're using on this phone we're using the Moza what's this? Moza Master app and connect to the Aircrest 2 with Moza Air 2 connect to Moza Air 2 and then we go to remote control so we now have access to the pan left and right and then we also have access to the roll Center a little bit. And then on this Android phone, we have the QDSLR dashboard app. The good thing about this one compared to the previous video, because on for for C6 we do not need the USB cable anymore to connect our cell phone to the camera. For us to record video unlike on the d750 you can connect it you can connect it using wi-fi but you cannot start and stop the recording over the phone using a phone so you need to have the usb cable for you to record video using your uh, mobile device and the qdsl dashboard app so now uh, so we can tilt, pan and tilt our camera, our our, uh, <clears throat> our Moza Air. So I don't know if this is going to be practical in the um, real life events, shooting events. But Probably uh, this is useful if you're doing uh, maybe you need to be to have two cameras and there's only one shooter so probably you can attach this one to this Moza Air to a tripod and then while well, you're also in the other camera so you'll be controlling two cameras 
but I think this is more useful in doing like like this YouTube videos so you can have especially with the Z6 that the tilting screen doesn't really uh, give you a live view while you are using it to film yourself so this is very useful so you can at least see yourself and now that it is attached also to the Moza Air so if you are like probably moving a lot during your video you can also adjust that for example so you can adjust everything sensitivity and all so it won't be jumping on you okay, so it's a little smooth I think this is very nice but right but maybe not very practical or I don't know let me know what you think would be if this is useful or not all right thank you see you in the next video